Hi guys, I hope I am audible to everyone. So, we are going to discuss all about next attempt of A set basically in this session. So, I hope uh, I am audible and the screen is visible. So, we are going to discuss in this lecture all about A set orientation. So, as you must be aware what actually A set means, it is basically actuarial common entrance test for all the students uh, who want to enter into actuarial science via India route. So, we have two societies institute of actuaries of India and institute and faculty of actuaries and the entrance exam for entering into institute of actuaries of India is your ACET. So, let us just quickly go through the details. This is applicable to the candidates who plan to enroll as student member of Institute of Actuaries of India and wish to take actuarial examinations. So, the criteria for uh, entering into this field or I would say criteria for giving a set is this much. Basically, many students are confused at what is the criteria of entering into um, actuarial science basically via II route or giving a set. So, these are the criteria and you can just have a quick look at this. So, students who have appeared 10 plus 2 or an equivalent examination and waiting for the result. Candidate who have passed 10 plus 2 or any higher courses or examinations. Diploma, finance or other stream but who have love for maths and skills and numeracy. Mathematical science, maths, stats, econometrics or any other engineering, management, chartered accountant, cost accountant or a company secretary. So, basically any student who is studying for all these things can definitely plan for ACT and we will receive many queries that till um, what time the result of ACT is valid. So, it is valid for 3 years from the date of declaration of exam result for taking student membership of II. So, when you plan to take membership of II, basically your result is valid till 3 years. Now, let us just have a quick look at all other details about ACET. So, you must be aware that we had last ACET exam on 9th March and the result was out on 15th March. So, as of now, we have not received official dates related to next ACET exam, but we are expecting it to be in June, July. So, it is uh, already f uh, April. So, if you are planning to enter into actuarial science via Institute of Actuaries of India route, it is important to start your preparation accordingly for ACET now, because exam is expected in June, July. Now, next let us discuss about uh, basically a set exam structure. So, many students again have this question is it multiple choice, do we have negative marking and how is the allocation distributed. So, these are the details. So, it is a 3 hour exam, 100 marks exam, online exam, 3 hours, 100 marks online with how many questions, multiple uh, 70 multiple choice questions. And how are the questions distributed? Basically, you will have 45 questions of 1 mark each, 20 questions of 2 marks each, 5 questions of 3 marks each. And how the allocation of marks is done is that we are uh, basically we can expect 30 marks from mathematics section, 30 marks from statistics section, 15 marks from DI, 15 marks from English and 10 marks from logical reasoning. And A set is conducted only on single day and there is only one slot for all the students. And the simple criteria of passing rule for this exam is 50 percent. That is out of 100 you need to score 50 to pass this exam with no negative marking for incorrect answers.
Now let us come to this syllabus that what all is expected from you when you are planning to give ACET. So, you can see uh, basically the most important section of maths and stats. We have in maths, we have notation and standard functions, we have numerical methods, algebra, differentiation, integration, vectors, matrices. In statistics, we have permutation, combination, type of data, mean, median, mode, range, interquartile range, variance, skewness, basic rule of probabilities, conditional probabilities, random variables, continuous random variables, discrete distributions, continuous distribution, correlation, regression. In English, we have section revolving around synonyms, antonyms, English grammar, sentence correction, fill in the blanks, close passage, jumbled paragraph, summary questions, reading comprehension, testing on your vocabulary, testing on grammar, testing on verbal reasoning skills, DIA you can get different diagrams and you can be supposed to comment on that. So, tables, column graphs, bar graphs, line charts, pie charts, Venn diagrams, caselets, these are the uh, diagrams that can be, uh, I mean that will be there for drawing interpretation. For logical reasoning section, you can have questions on number and letter series, calendars, clocks, cubes, Venn diagrams, uh, sitting arrangement, logical sequence, logical matching, syllogism, blood relations. So, all this is what your syllabus is all about in ACET. Now, we have to discuss basically that how we will be proceeding with this subject. Now, it is very important to understand that how we will be proceeding. So, since the date official dates are not yet out, so uh, your assignments, tests and mocks basically are designed in such a manner that we give you the target based on the date of exam. So, as of now, since we are expecting the exam to be in June, July, so uh, we will make sure that your assignments, tests and mocks are aligned in that manner. So, you will be getting a schedule from our site which will have details related to the deadline of your assignments, deadline of your tests, deadline of your mocks. So, assignments is we have segregated into basically uh, like there will be math assignments, stat assignments, DI assignments. Similarly, tests are also segregated like this and mocks is your full course uh, mock test. So, you do not have to worry like when we have to plan this, we will be telling you when your assignment is due, when your test is due, when your mock is due. So, as soon as you enroll basically in the course, you will be getting access to our portal which has the lectures and content and uh, basically we, up we will be uploading the schedule on the same portal only. So, you will be having access to our portal basically which will have all these details. Now, in uh, lectures, what we have done is basically if I talk about lectures, we have covered the content topic wise. So, there are sessions of maths, there are lectures of uh, statistics, lectures of English, lecture of DI, lectures of logical reasoning. Now, a common question that comes in students mind is, okay, uh, uh, is this, is, are these lectures sufficient? So, do we have to prepare from these lectures? Yes, you need to prepare everything from these lectures. Basically, what students um, um, I mean do or what mistakes students commit is they go question wise or they go topic wise okay, okay let me do questions of notation, let me do questions of permutation combination, let me do questions related to say uh, say one topic of English that is completely wrong approach. This is th this is not the approach that we have followed in our lectures. You need to make sure that you are sticking to the content that we have provided to you. So, we are uh, multiple lectures in of maths basically where the uh, like where we have taken the course like in maths you can see notation is there, differentiation is there, integration is there. So, what we have covered is we have assumed that okay you have basic knowledge of integration and differentiation and we have done lots of question discussion plus conceptual discussion based on the topics that are expected in maths. Same thing is for the stats um, for English, DI and logical reasoning. This there is no content that you have to learn, there are no formulas that you have to learn. What is expected from you that how you have to prepare for English, DI or logical reasoning is lots and lots of questions practice. So, English content, DI content and logical reasoning content is basically designed in such a manner that you are ready for any style of question that comes in exam based on these topics. And 
there can be some questions where some rules are applicable. For example, in calendars questions there are some rules, in uh, clocks questions there are some rules. So, those rules basically are discussed in the lectures and based on those, uh, based on those rules we have done detailed discussion. So, English, DI and logical reasoning section basically targets more on questions practice so that you are ready for any style of question because the content is unlimited in these uh, topics and maths and stats focus on content plus uh, basically your questions discussion both assuming that you have knowledge of uh, basic 11, 12 maths and stats. Now, there are multiple students basically who start very late or they did not have maths in class 11th and 12th or they feel that okay though they had maths uh, but they are not ready for those uh, that level of maths and science. So, what is the option for those students? So, I would recommend each of you to take our pre-actuarial refresher program along with ACET. So, let me show you what is that pre-actuarial refresher program. So, here are the details of our pre-actuarial refresher program. So, this program is basically meant for only those students only who feel that they are not prepared with class 11th and 12th maths and stats. So, along with ACET you should definitely go for this program as well because this will help you to cover each and every concept of maths and stats in from the very basics. If your basics are clear, if you feel that I am good enough with maths and stats basics, then there is no requirement of going for this pre-actuarial refresher program, you can directly pick ACET. But if you feel you need assistance on your basic maths and stats skills as well, then along with ACET do go for this program as well because in this program basically we are taking uh, 2 to 3 sessions in a week where we are covering maths and stats in detail. So, you can see the course eligibility as well that minimum eligibility criteria to start with this course is that you have done class 10th uh, basically. This program lays the foundation for maths and stats before your main actuarial science exams. This program is suitable for those who are not good with class 12th maths or they have done basically 12th quite a long time before and they now want to revise their concepts. So, we have more than 100 hours of video content in this program along with regular live sessions covering detailed maths and stats. So, if you feel you just need a brush up on your maths and top stats topics, go only ACET. If you feel you need maths and stats basics as well, then you should pick pre-actual refresher program as well because that is meant for you guys only who's, I mean, who feel that their basics are not um, well and they want to revise that maths and stats as well along with ACET. So, uh, you can just check out what we are providing out in detail. So, see the maths and topics and star topics are this which will be covered in quite detail in uh, part session. So, this is pre-actuarial refresher program. Now, coming to ACET. So, you can see that basically it is an entrance exam and it will give eligibility basically it will uh, give individuals eligibility to become a member and appear for main actuarial exams and if you are opting for ACT basically we assume that maths and stats till class 12 is a prerequisite. 
so it's up to you whichever program you want to go for but the only point to convey what i wanted to convey was that if you are well enough with maths and stats go al directly with act but if you feel you need a brush up pick parp along with act now how we will be proceeding for this subject let's just discuss in detail about this so you can see we have around 150 hours content where we have covered different questions uh, different past papers different concepts and as i discuss the concepts also are uh, basically divided like for maths and stats there is more focus on concepts for english reasoning and di there is more focus on questions plus uh, the we will be having group sessions at regular intervals and i will be coming live via this portal only and okay and we will be discussing lot of things in detail for example if it's a math session so you will be doing math topics discussions past papers discussion if it's a di uh, session we will do lots of questions discussion so at regular intervals we will keep on having group discussion sessions plus there will be assignments tests and uh, basically you will be getting weekly targets from our site with respect to that which all assignments you need to complete in this week which all tests you need to appear for which all videos you should be done with so we have a team basically since we have basically started with the session now so post this every week the team will track whether uh, the students who have enrolled with us have are watching the videos or not are attending the live sessions or not are regular with your assignments and tests or not and we will keep on notifying if you are missing on anything so uh, with this we are actually starting with our asset section and now the next class would be based on the different topics discussion so before i start with any particular topic in next session what i will be doing is i will be picking the in last basically or march 2025 entire mock and we will be doing a quick discussion on different questions i will show you the mock today but we will be discussing the questions uh, in next session basically in detail so this was your asset march 2025 exam you can see the math section so 30 marks is from maths first 20 questions are of maths then 21 to basically 40 is from stats 41 to 51 is your di 52 to 62 is english and 63 to 70 is basically logical reasoning so in next session uh, what i will be doing is i will be picking say di entire section and we will be doing a quick discussion on this march 2025 mock before i start proceeding basically with questions discussion and with technical sessions uh, covering di in detail i want to have a quick revision of the last mock just to get an understanding basically that how much you need to improve and post that we will do technical session on each and every topic so i hope all your queries are resolved now with respect to asset with respect to the marking structure with respect to how we will be proceeding so still after today session in case you feel there are any doubts left to be or uh, left to be addressed just make sure that you are connecting to us on the number mentioned and the team will guide you so with this we wrap up this session thank you